Are you seeing this error when you're clicking on a site? In this video, I'll show you the five best ways to fix the 503 error. Chapter one, how to fix 503 error in WordPress. Number one, contact your web host. Sometimes web hosts initiate automatic updates when a new WordPress version is released, which can trigger a 503 error on your site. It's quite normal, so don't worry about it. Just contact them via chat or email to confirm if this is the situation and find out when your site will be back online. Number two, fix resource overuse. If you notice that there's too much traffic coming, you can deal with this in two ways. If this is an increase in legitimate traffic, it is time to upgrade your hosting services package to deal with it. If you're dealing with spam or bot traffic, you should immediately install a security plugin with a great firewall and bot protection. Here, I can happily recommend our in-house plugin Blanket. The firewall and bot protection is free and the best in the market. Number three, limit the WordPress heartbeat API. Simply put, the heartbeat is something that runs in the background of your site and runs important tasks like autosaves. But imagine, if your heart beats too fast all the time, your body will shut down, right? Kind of similar to what happens here. The heartbeat runs autosaves every minute or so and eats up a ton of resources. If your site is already low on resource capacity, then the heartbeat can trigger a 503 error. So, if the previous fixes haven't worked out for you, it's time to check if the heartbeat is triggering this. The quickest and easiest way is to install the heartbeat control plugin. After installing it from the WordPress repository, go to settings and click on the heartbeat control. Disable the heartbeat and check if the error is still on your site. If the error has vanished, you now have a confirmation that it's the heartbeat that's causing the error. So, just click on modify options and then adjust the frequency of autosaves to the lowest possible one that you're comfortable with. This, however, is not a good long-term solution and I would recommend upgrading your server resources so you can re-enable quicker autosaves. Number four, debugging your site. Debugging your site will generate error logs that will show you which piece of code is faltering and where. To enable it, open your website root directory to find the wp-config.php file. You can click on the public HTML folder and choose the wp-config.php file. Add the following code inside here, then click on save and close button. Debugging is now enabled on your website and all the errors will be added in the log. You can find this in the wp-content folder with the name debug.log. Now this can get a bit tricky because it's a bit technical, but look for the names of your theme or plugins here because that will mean that they are the sources of the issue. You can then just share these logs with the hosting tech support and then help you quickly fix the issue. Number five, flush your DNS. The 503 error can also be triggered by a DNS error. Clearing or flushing the DNS cache is one of the most recommended solutions to fix this. How to flush DNS cache for Google Chrome? Enter this text into the Google Chrome address bar, then click clear host cache. Now go ahead and check if the error is gone. If not, move on to the next step. Number two, how to flush DNS cache for Windows? On the start menu, search for command prompt. Then right click to select run as administrator. Once a new window opens, type in the commands below. Then hit enter. And that's it. These solutions work for 90% cases. Comment below if you get stuck anywhere and I'll try my best to help you out.